you so much, Leanne. So, staying on World Food Day, we are in the kitchen making something quick, something easy, and something sweet with Caitlin. How are you, Caitlin? Good morning. Always good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very cool. You know, we're making actually one of my favorite things. Aww. Cook sisters. sisters. Love it, love it. I just need to tell you this first because I have a cook sister moment. When I was younger, I cycled all the way from Tableview, Bloberg, all the way to Hot Bay, and back just to see a girl. I know, young love, right? But when I got back, I was so hungry. I, I got into the fridge, my mom's fridge, and there was just Cook Sisters, and I chowed the whole bag, and I remember it to this day because it was so good. Uh, so maybe I'll put a call out there to you guys. Do you have a Cook Sister moment that you can remember when a Cook Sister just was irresistible, was so good? <laughs> so we're gonna make that now. Yes, but we're making a cheats version. A cheats version? Yeah, because so I said quick, easy, and Exactly, so sweet. we're doing something quick, um, yes. because the normal Cook Sisters, there's a lot of kneading, there's a lot of yeast and waiting, and yeah. it's a bit of a process. So Which this is good is... for me because I'm always in a rush, you know. Exactly. I need and to this... know how to make this quickly. This is for when you crave it, you want it now. All right, so how do yes. we make it? What do we okay, need? Okay, so the, the way we're going to start is we're going to use um, a scone mix. Yeah. And that's just going to take away a lot of the work of measuring and the adding and all of that. So um, we're going to put this into a bowl. Nice, okay. So um, what is important to start with is the syrup because you want to yeah. chill that well overnight. So yeah. that's just a basic sugar, water, yeah. um, some cinnamon maybe if you like, and um, that just gets put in a pot and then you can pour it in um, a bowl or one of these bags and you can put that in This is easy. This is, what, what is this? I've had, it's, a, it's a toughy bag, but I haven't seen one like this before. It's a, a, what they call a fill and freeze bag and wow. it stands by itself, which is quite handy. There's no, you, you know, yeah. don't have to worry about when you're pouring to hold it and so it stands by itself. That's very cool. And you can obviously use it for like stuff like soups and, mm. and whatever hot liquids that you hot, have. Yeah, so you, I, like I poured the syrup straight in there oh, and then it can... went in the fridge overnight. Wow. Yeah, and then when we're finished, we can freeze the leftovers, defrost yeah. it, heat it in the microwave. You're going to show okay. us how that works. But of course, you can get the ingredients sent to your phone by SMSing the keyword SISTERS233728. All right. We're not sisters today, no. No, we're not sisters. No, that would be weird. <laughs> Missing Leanne. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to rub in some butter here. Okay. So be oh. normally with scones, you'd be Gotta quite... Get the hands dirty. Yeah, you'd be quite light and fluffy, but because the scones, uh, the, sorry, the cook sisters are going to be a bit heavier, you don't need to fuss so much. Okay, cool. So this is just, you can leave a few little breadcrumb-sized pieces in here. Yeah. And then right. if you want to break one egg into this bowl for me here, I'm going to get you working. That's fine. Get me working. One egg in which bowl? This bowl. Yeah. I've actually broken my grandmother's rule. <gasps> she always used to say when you're rubbing and you're using your hands and baking, you always only use one hand so you have one hand to answer like the that. phone. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, wow. Wait. Yeah, yeah there you see, go. Yeah. Just one egg, eh? Yes. Do you and want me to the, beat it? the milk, yeah. Okay. And then we're just going to whisk that together. I'll whisk that for you. Thank you so much. And then once that's just combined, we're going to fold it into our dough. There baking. Go. Baking, Kate. I love baking. Baking is often fun. Enough. It is fun. <laughs> Especially when you use... It takes you know, me back to my old Buck and Bro days, you know, <laughs> at school. Remember that? Buck and Bro. Okay. Buck and Bro. Okay. Quite that in there. goes in. Great. Cool. So this is just going to be Let's mixed. This on this side. And once again, usually with scones, you'd be cutting it in with a knife just to make sure it's light and fluffy, but we're not yeah. fussing today. Today it's all about getting your end result. Lovely, as quick of course. As possible. You can get all the ingredients for our quick and easy cook sisters today just by SMSing the keyword sisters to 33728. Very easy. As I said, quick, easy and lacquer suit. <laughs> yeah. So once you've got your So that's mix, your dough now. Yeah, so now we've got our dough. All right. And then we're gonna roll it out. Okay, and here comes the hard part now. No, this is the fun part. On how to what do you call them? Fold them. Yeah, bray uh, what do you call? Pleat them? What, what? flat. Flat them. There yes. we go. Yes. Um, the flat. So the key to this is to roll it out really thinly and actually to work it a little bit before. Okay. Um, just to get it nice and smooth. Yeah. And then we've got some oil going on here. Okay, that's nice and hot already. Yeah. So the, when you want to, if you want to test your oil, see if it's hot enough, you can just drop little a bread, piece. bread crumb or a little piece of dough in. Okay. And if it, if it turns quite quickly, then it's awesome. ready. Awesome. So I'm just going to cut this very quick. We're going to cut some rectangles. Okay, and then obviously use those cuts, cut off bits to, to make a new one. Exactly. I like it. So, rectangle. All right. And then, so I'm going to make little mini ones, but you can make bigger ones if you want. All right. Um, I'm good for the bite-sized bite ones. Try again. There we go. So you don't cut it all the way through. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. And then plait it. No way. How good are your plaiting, hey? It's not bad. 
That's not bad. I can I can try I'm it. I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, so I just folded the, the ends. Sure that, yeah. Look and at then that. I'm going to drop it in some oil. Oh man, wow. Okay, your turn. Cool. Let me try one quickly. Okay, three pieces plat. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, okay, here we go. One over in the middle. Then no, you need this. What this out one? It's goes not in. long enough. But they're little ones. You want little mini ones. Little but you didn't say pieces. stretch them. <laughs> Anyways, you there can keep go. going. You, you can do it. it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, great. So then these just get browned, and yeah. then you drop them in your syrup. In the syrup that you put yeah. in, the, in the, the... What do you call it again? Fill in what? Fill in freeze bag. Fill in freeze bag. That's very yeah. cool, eh? That's very cool. Such okay. handy. So then you just remove them, drain them on some paper towel, let them cool slightly. Slightly. And then you're going to drop it into so your So that they can syrup. absorb that yes. liquid. So hot wow. and cold pulls it in. And then they come out looking yes. exactly like that. Of course, the keyword, once again, sisters to 33728. You'll get all the ingredients. And then we also have a fantastic competition for you. You could win yourself a chip maker kit to make your own nice chips at home. All you need to do is SMS the keyword Entrepot to 33728. Entrepot, your name and city to 33728. Fantastic competition, great stuff. Caitlin, this looks yummy. Can I have one? Yes, you may. Oh, wow. So while I indulge in my quick, easy, and suit cooks, sister, we're going to go to a quick ad break. We'll see you just now.